Thanksgiving is a powerful and wonderful holiday. And the next day became unofficially the holiday that no one talks about. What do you think I'm talking about? Hmm? Someone said Black Friday, but another person said the, the, the unofficial holiday of overeating. <laughs> very, very close. I call it the Great Renunciation, <laughs> also known as Elimination Day. <laughs> the problem with that is that it comes at a moment of guilt, regret, and shame. Our altars move from one part of the household to another, and in some extreme cases, people find themselves praying to the porcelain god. Because why? Because we ate too much. This is the day that we make a powerful, if not painful, distinction between eating to restore and renew the body temple as opposed to overeating to satisfy our appetites. And when we think about it, it, it seems so un antithetical to what Thanksgiving is really about. Why did we just do that? Why did we just satisfy, you know, why did we just try to satisfy our appetites by overeating? Why didn't we just enjoy the moment with everyone and when we were full, continue to enjoy the moment with everyone? but not feel that we have to stuff ourselves. You know, there's a, a popular anti-acid <laughs> <laughs> that used to have a commercial years ago. You, you, I know I'm dating myself, but that's okay. I'm, I'm in memory lane today. And, and, and it captures the essence of this uncelebrated holiday that we know now as the Great Renunciation or Elimination Day. And when you get a chance, I want you to go and Google the phrase, I can't believe I ate the whole thing. <laughs> Anybody remember that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you see, this is how people normally do the practice of renunciation as an afterthought. And the most common renunciation statements are, I shouldn't have eaten so much, and never again. Anybody ever say, never again? Anybody, it was in that moment you were in, um, you know, oh, what, what should we call it? I'm trying to keep this as, as dip, do this as diplomatic as possible because that's, uh, that's a skill of mine. <laughs> Anybody ever find themselves in the reading room? <laughs> shaking their head and saying, never again, never, ever again. Interestingly that enough, that's a renunciation. You are renouncing the mistake that you made by stuffing yourself, in, but you're doing it after the fact. You're doing it in a moment where you still have to suffer the consequences. And what we teach here in Unity about renunciation is that we have an opportunity to be so uh, conscientious about the powers that we have that we can renounce something and not find ourselves uh, reaping the consequences as a result. You hearing where I'm, where I'm going with this? And so, we have enough memories, we have enough experiences 
that we can reflect on all of the things that we're thankful for and all of the things that don't align with the good that we have received, we can, before we get to the table, before we get to the, the next experience that would bring us to the I can't believe I did that moment, before that happens, we can renounce it. We can say, not this time. Not for me. Thanks, but no thanks. That's a great one. Someone ought to write that down. That is a powerful renouncement.